Hey, we are back with another video, and this is actually more of a tutorial for my younger brother who never watches my YouTube videos, and so I figured this is a way to help him solve a problem and get him to watch my videos. Today, the problem is the weather's getting colder out here, and so vermin are trying to come in the garage, and you can see here at the bottom, normally if a mouse can get its nose through, it can get its body through. So we're going to be trying to replace the weather stripping on the bottom of our garage. I've never done this, so I figured that you've probably never done it. I went to Ace Hardware and they had a garage door seal, and this one's 18 foot long, which luckily I have two nine foot doors, so hopefully we'll be able to just cut it in half. And what it is, is I'll show you right quick what you're getting. It's flat, but what we're going to be doing Hey Maggie, don't eat that bag. Is we're gonna be sliding it back into our track like so. And so over here is our track. And we'll change my door first. Most of the time it'll slide right out, but sometimes they'll put a keeper screw in, which this one, the both, um, I believe a groundhog decided to try to get into this garage earlier before we got here. And so it is um, already eliminated anything keeping it in here. So what we're gonna do is just slide this out of the track and these um, two little ears will slide perfectly back in the track. Hopefully it goes nice and smooth. And um, I'll walk you through, show you how it goes. We'll probably have to set the camera down here in a minute so that Mel can help me once, once I get halfway across the door. So, because um, I'm sure it's gonna bind up. But we'll pause the camera and get set up and show you how to put it in. It's nice, quick, and easy. Good way of rodent proofing your garage and um, helping, you know, if you've got a heated garage, it'll definitely cut down on the drafts. So we'll be right back once the camera's set up, show you how to do it. I've got it started, and uh, which I'm gonna jinx myself before I'm done, but I legit was kind of fretting about having to do this, and, and this is the I simplest- I figured this would be a lot more complicated. <laughs> yeah, this is the simplest thing in the world, which that door is gonna be a little more difficult because there's a slight dent in it, but you just have two people. Mel is just feeding it through and just adding a little bit of pressure, slowly pulling. Now, if it were to, to be binding up, we could take a little bit of silicon spray and spray in, but I mean, so far, we are having absolutely no trouble. You can see she's just feeding it through, feeding it right up in the track, and I'm just bringing her right across. Um, and then I'm gonna put a link to my little brother's YouTube channel. And you make sure to visit him and in his videos. Don't forget to comment that he needs to watch his big brother's YouTube channels. Maybe we can get him converted over. He says he's too busy. Another eight inches. All right. That looks good. That's all there is to it. So we're gonna snip it off over there and I'm not gonna put the screws in to hold it. Um, that way I can see how it's gonna perform and I'm afraid that putting the screws in will actually give you a, a, a pucker. And, and I want this just to be nice and perfectly sealed. And then we're gonna replace um, these pieces here later and we should be ready for winter. Thank you guys for following along with us. Hopefully that was helpful and you don't have to worry about changing your garage door seals next time that they uh, have holes in them. It's, it's easy, you can do it.